Yo guys, what the hell's going on? You're watching CSS for Beginners Lesson 35 and today we're going to talk all about the paragraph spacing. So that's coming up. <laughs> okay, so in the last lesson we talked about line height, right? And we said that the distance between the two lines of text within one paragraph tag can be controlled with the line height property. Remember, we give the line height a, uh, a height that's going to allow for the font size and an additional space between the lines, okay? But how do we control this space between the paragraph tags? That is not the line height. We use a property called margin to do that, and that's all part of the box model. And we're going to talk about the box model in more detail in the next lesson, but I just wanted to give you a, a quick introduction to the margin property and how it can be used with p tags uh, to control the space between those tags. Okay, so we're going to jump back into the code now and do just that. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back here in the code and uh, I've already given the p tags these two properties here. I've given it a font size of 14 pixels and I've given it a line height of 2 m's. And remember, m's are relative measurements. So what this is saying is take 14 pixels and times it by 2. So that's going to be a 28 pixel line height. And if you remember, that's going to be the 14 pixels that we need for the actual size of the font and then an additional 14 pixels of space. So it's going to be 7 pixels at the top and 7 pixels at the bottom. That's going to give the overall line height a value of 28 pixels. OK, so that makes sense. So now what we're going to do is give this a margin bottom property of, ooh, let's say, 32 pixels. OK, now you can control the margin top. Margin bottom, margin left, margin right. Um, we're not going to do that now. Like I said, we're going to cover the box model in the next video, and we'll go into that then. For the p tags, I'm just going to use a margin bottom because that's all we really need to use to separate the p tags. Okay, so what we're saying here is look, at the end of the p tag, I want a margin of 32 pixels before the next p tag starts. Makes sense, right? So let's save that now and view it in a browser, see what it's done. All right then, so we've got this 14 pixel font size, a line height of essentially 28 pixels, that's two M's, and then we've got this 32 pixel gap at the bottom of each paragraph tag, and that is the margin bottom, all right? If I just right click this and inspect element, and I hover over this P tag, can you see those orange parts there? That is the margin of the P tag, right? So the bottom part is larger, that's the 32 pixel part, the one that we applied, and you can see also they have a small, thin orange margin at the top. Now that is a default browser style, okay? The browsers automatically implement a margin top of 1M, generally speaking. So that is the default browser styles at play. We've overridden it for the bottom and we've applied a 32 pixel margin and so there's a bigger gap at the bottom between the P tags, okay? So that about covers it. This was a really quick lesson. Like I said, we're going to go into more detail about the margin and padding and other ways to control the box model properties in the next video. So until then, guys, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, like um, or share them. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.